I wanted to be there for people on their worst days. When I was little, we were in a really bad rollover accident, and I just, I remember thinking, like, I wanted to be that person, the person in the ambulance. Like, it just seemed so, like, amazing to me. I wanted to be a firefighter since I was five years old, and I thought, still do think, if I take this program past my nationals, I'll have my EMT certification. It'll help me be able to get into a fire department easier. It's helped me be more adaptable. I think in this field, even just in like learning and training right now, you have to be very like quick to adapt when situations might not go the way that you want. There you go. Okay, drop it, and then you lift. There you go. See how that's easier? Yeah. Being able to interact with others, work as a team, not just at home working on your own pretty much. It's taught me to be more patient with other people. Ready? Three, two, one. I didn't expect the gurneys to be so heavy, especially with the person on them. It was kind of shocking at first, but it's really interesting like once you get the hang of it and especially like loading them into the ambulance. I've learned a lot, learned to study more for my tests, be prepared, work in whatever environment I need to work in and do it efficiently and effectively. I think a lot of questions are really open-ended and up to like the best answer possible. Even though all of the answers are correct, there's always one that's gonna be way more accurate. And in the end, it's kind of like a matter of life and death. So it's a little bit more difficult than I originally anticipated. Ready, three, two, one. I learn things, I get stuff done, and at the end of the day, I feel like I've accomplished something. Even if this might not be a career path you want to pursue, it's a life skill. In the end, it's going to help you and be like very beneficial.